Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 mod review and this is actually a uh, course on Modern Warfare. Now this is a mod that on the website that I use came out very recently. I don't know actually how old it is. I haven't looked into it, the history of it too much. But yeah, this is called Coruscant Modern Warfare. It's a um, very interesting map, to say the least. Now, it's pretty uh, equally, actually. Some map mod maps seem very heavily favored towards one side or the other. This is actually a very balanced map, first thing. And I, I usually start uh, end with this, but the first thing I want to actually show off is actually the strategy. If you notice, uh, Republic spawns at 2 and 3. To every, um, really, it's basically just a balanced map. You have 2 and 3 of Republic spawns, and they spawn 6 and 4. And basically, they go. There's a bridge that leads you down to this little area, and then the CIS, obviously, vice versa. Now, it's actually very interesting. Now, these two command points right here aren't really anything. They're actually ships on top, so don't try to actually. You can't really go to them unless you want to pilot. First off, I actually going to play on the Republic just a little bit. Uh, Mace Windu is also the hero for this map. I won't really be showing him off because, well, there's nothing new to him. Oh boy. Now there's a lot of brand new classes, and I haven't really experienced CIS too much. Other than the fact that they seem to have really long shotgun range. They seem to be already taking one of our command posts. Oh boy, I'm dead. Pilot droid. Uh, apparently there's jetpack droids. Like I said, I actually haven't played a CIS yet. This is only my second time actually playing it, but I enjoy playing as a Republic so much. I decided just to show off the Republic real quick. Capture this. Oh boy, our commander. Oh, that's an engineer droid. Also, there are Magna Guards in here, which basically behave the exact same as a lightsaber. They one shot. Uh, no matter what they, I believe basically they, basically as much damage as an actual Jedi character can do, they do, so, makes sense. Oh, there, I do notice sometimes they'll just stand there and block and let you throw a grenade underneath them like that there. Oh, darn it. So we're actually uh, getting B here. Uh, the heavy trooper, uh, not really much. Normal classes. We got clone pilot, which is basically is only useful for piloting. And we have the clone commander. Now this guy actually has a pulse rifle. He fires three at a time. So let's see. He also has the standard grenades, and he has the standard rally. There's not really much change to him other than the actual commander, other than the fact that. He has a pulse rifle, not a actual um, bl uh, blaster cannon or auto cannon. I know a second wave of troops being depleted. So, yeah, you can see the Magna Guard is blocking like an actual Jedi. He's crawling very slowly, and he just let me kind of just wear him down a grenade. And we'll see if I can get some troops. Alright, so we got this place pretty much kind of done. There's also healing classes, and this is actually a healing class, which I'll show off later from the clone side. There's also, like I said, ship-to-ship -ship battle. There's a bunch of actually destroyable ships, which is awesome, which I'll show off in a bit. Now there's actually a, one or two easter eggs in this um, little um, map, so let me show them quickly. Now this music may be a little loud, I don't know actually how to turn it down without turning off the entire sound. But as you notice, they show the original pod racing Nintendo 64 screenshot, and they show stuff from Episode 2 from the background. And my personal favorite, they actually show an Xbox screenshot of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic swoop racing. But I found that was a pretty nice touch. And in case this is annoying you, I'm not really going to focus on that much. Also, the designs I think are spot on. 
So once again, they had their tanks and uh, the CIS. They're actually Republic only has like um, they had their standard. Uh, uh, I think the ITXs, and that's it. The CIS has spider droids and a boatload of tanks, and that's a engineer droid who's just acting like a sniper droid. And holy crap, that's a long shotgun. Uh, once again, Mace Windu. There's actually not anything to really show there. So let's show off the clone medic. Now this guy may have, though he has standard blaster pistol, and he basically acts like an engineer, in a way. He also has, um, regeneration. But this guy might have the most OP close range weapon in all, in any shooter I have ever seen. And I'm actually going to make a push to number four. Now number four is actually, um, there's actually a boatload of turrets around in the maps, and whoever controls that not one that shotgun range is insane and two I wasn't paying attention anyway number four base whoever owns that actually has control of the entire tur turret system on the entire map so it's a pretty important base unfortunately I think um, the Republic actually um, let's see automatic full auto shotgun that the, that has a, a billion range to it yeah that that's not ridiculous anyway Unfortunately, there's an auto turret grid that's constantly on the Republic side. Also, I want to point out that Super Battle Droids are actually Super Battle Droids in this game. What the heck, man? Uh, leave a comment if you know what just killed me, because I have no idea. Yeah, that, that's not disgusting at all. Imagine if you were playing online. The, like, the only class that would actually be used is this. You know, I don't want to play as Mace Windu. There's nothing to him, so there's no reason to really show him off. Okay, let's hope we don't get destroyed by... Oh, he might have put a rocket on himself. So anyway, he had this auto turret that, or turret that actually stays on the Republic side, unless the CIS destroys something. And it's just, the, you actually have an auto defense Mayframe. Now, I think if the CIS destroy this, then they get control of the entire base. But it seems like uh, the AI actually doesn't know to do that, actually. Let's see how deep I can get into this. Oh boy. I'm just going to capture this real quickly. Wow. Uh, hold on just a sec. Okay, we are back. So you see that it's command post. And moving up, because I'm not going to get shotgun again. There are actually ships that uh, spawn here. And they're actually, you know, whatever faction is actually controlling it. See, I'm trying to actually find the... Oh, boy. See, super battle droid. More like invincible droid. Oh boy. I'm trying to actually find the actual uh, turret main mainframe. I believe it's actually in uh, these doors here. Okay, I don't think I'm supposed to go down. Yeah, I'm supposed to go up. So blue door, green is down, blue is up. And here we go. So you actually can enter and this is actually... Now, the AIs aren't smart enough to use this. So, you know, shrug is not that useful. But you, I mean, hey, you actually can have an entire alternate mainframe around the map, so I think it's actually uh, pretty useful. Oh boy, please not again. Now I'm actually going to capture this base, and then show off a few more classes. Also, super battle droids are painfully slow in this, and notice, I noticed that the AI super battle, wow, I don't know what just killed me, but GG. Oh wow, a bunch of them are spawning. I guess I can show off this, little, this uh, little room here. This is the Heavy Trooper. Now, this back room is actually the Chancellor's office, which I like is a nice little touch. Now, uh, this guy is um, basically nothing to him. He's literally the normal commander in the vanilla game. With the exception of he has grenades, and he's reskinned.
Also, he has, doesn't have unlimited ammo, which is actually interesting. He has actually just a thousand ammo, but he doesn't have to like reload. Oh wow! Okay, that wasn't good showcasing of him. I'm not going to go into Cantina because I think that's kind of loud, and I don't want to make this annoying. Okay. Oh boy. Man, it takes a long time for it to start firing. But anyway, you know in a vanilla game, when you have this railgun, it actually has unlimited ammo. It just, obviously, um, heats. His actually has insanely good range. And actually has ammo, and you can basically just fire a thousand rounds without ever having to stop. It's debatable whether or not this is ridiculously broken or not, but I mean it works because it's such a long range battlefield and there's so much chaos. And it takes a while for him to actually just charge it up, so I mean I think it's good. Oh wow, you can actually destroy those things? Oh wow, I didn't even realize that was actually destructible. Try to get rid of that. Oh, actually, you do have to reload after 500 rounds. Dang. So that kind of shows off how ridiculous the super battle droid actually is, because you notice I was just tearing through mobs with this railgun, and then the second I started firing a super battle droid, his health, his health just starts slowly going down. And now the final one we have is the uh, clone juggernaut. Now this guy is painfully slow. And he basically has a scout rifle and like shooter turns basically. He's painfully slow, he has a lot of health. He does actually have uh, some mines, he can throw a few mines down. I don't know what's got through at me. And he has a very long range weapon, which actually has a pretty cool model on it. And I'm not sure if he can one shot the head, but he definitely two shots to the body, I believe. Oh, here we have a super battle droid, so he's just going to tank everything. I mean, look at this. Ain't this uh, action-packed combat? Yeah, battle, super battle droids are pretty ridiculous. Also, he has 528 rounds, so you're not going to have to run out of ammo anytime soon with this guy. You see, even if I get crits on this guy, he still takes a long time to go down. Yeah, this is him running, by the way. This actually is a good comparison. Let's just compare how slow he is running. Yeah, that's and that was actually a AI walking. So yeah, that shows you he basically is supposed to be a juggernaut. He has a bunch of health. And basically he's designed to be exactly what he actually is. He's a tank, and if you get a good uh, engineer and someone who can actually aim, other than me, this guy is, would be pretty deadly actually, I think. Oh my god. He is so slow. By the way, I was stupid before when I say two shots to the body. He two shots to the head, like four shots to the body. If you can, hit, if I could hit someone, I could show it off better. Okay, well I'm actually running out of time here, so I'm actually going to respawn and show the air combat. Now, it actually was told that the buildings can be destroyed. I actually tried testing that. I'm not sure. Actually, one of the tips say that buildings can be destroyed, which is a cool feature. But I've actually not been able to successfully do it. So let's go with space combat. Now space combat is actually uh, pretty interesting. It's your typical space combat from any everything else. There's actually a lot of AIs actually, and you actually can. Let's do one quick bomb run actually. I got a few. Now these ships here are actually solid ships that you do fight. They actually don't have any defenses. They're basically just meat shields. 
They're kind of just to sit there and say, hey, you can destroy this, because they have no defenses whatsoever. Nothing like in the vanilla game. In fact, I'm actually just going to try to destroy one real quickly if we have the time. The reason I said like 20 minutes, I don't want to just sit there and ramble. Also, you can't destroy anything on the capital ships like in the vanilla game. They have nothing to destroy. Okay. Let's just destroy this real quickly. Okay, we destroyed it. Now we got absolutely nothing. There's no purpose in doing that other than saying, well, we beat them. Now, one thing that's actually very interesting is this right here. This is actually a solid ship that you can actually use. It actually has the, it's the only ship that actually defenses, and you can actually go inside this. Now, there's nothing spawns in here. There's, there's nothing spawn as far as ships or the CIS, but there's actually a turret mainframe in here. And I actually don't know how you would turn it off. I could actually experiment, but you can actually go in the core and you can actually, I think, destroy the core. Now, I'm not been able really to test this because it's very, very hard to actually do. Because there's actually two auto turrets there. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Let's see if I can make one more run at it. Okay. Slow and steady. Okay, did it, I think that just went through it or not. It's very hard to actually... I don't know if it actually can be exploded or not. They put it in here, so I assume it can be destroyed. And you can destroy this whole huge um, spaceship, but I'm actually not 100% sure because uh, it's very hard to do if possible, and it seems like your bombs sometimes just go through it. And so you can't go through that way. And as far as I know, there's nothing else you can actually destroy on this, but it's cool that this is an actual, you know, station. Yeah, that's where the core is. And... Whole current mainframe. No, I think you you don't can't destroy anything on this ship, like I said. But I, I think you can go in it. I think you can actually disable the uh, turret mainframe. Let's actually just try to do that real quickly. Typical pilot stuff, not even worth showing. Apparently, he actually has a rifle though in this one. Yeah, you actually can destroy the mainframe. Now, I don't know if this would actually turn off the mainframe and the big ship. I would doubt it. I actually haven't tried it. Let's see, we have a minute left, so let me see if I can actually do this. The very auto defense mainframe is disabled. That's nice. I'm actually going to take a CIS ship. Oh, we got one minute left. Quick, quick! Yeah, I'd actually be very surprised if this actually takes away... Yeah, no, it doesn't. So, uh, there's no way to destroy the turrets unless you physically destroy every single one. So, yeah, that's basically a course on modern uh, warfare. Actually, let me just kill myself so I can actually show off the map real quickly. So, the way this map uh, works, I showed it off just a little bit. It's basically kind of a V-shape from here. It's kind of just a V-shape with the spawns on the respective factions. And I've never seen these even contested by either faction, computer, um, never mind. I just realized the very second... I just realized the very second I said that, it started being under control. I don't know how that droid even got in here. But anyway. So anyway, you have the V-shape. And it's kind of nothing else to it. There's not much strategy. It's basically who wants to take over. Do you want to take over the turret mainframe or do you want to take over the uh, Easter egg fill cantina? So anyway, I'll leave a link down in the description where you can find this. Hope you do and uh, enjoy. If you did, leave a like and uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.